As in council meetings lately, grappling with that problem. These are troubling times, indeed. <coughs> One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. The gray Do you want to help me with something? Oh? Something interesting, I hope. I'll not argue that. Uh, I need you to cause a scene, get everyone's attention for a few minutes. I don't know. I don't want to do anything that might offend Ellenwyn. There is a lot of money at stake, after all. Okay. Yes, that's probably for the best. I really shouldn't risk getting on Ellenwyn's bad side. Alrighty then. This is here. <clears throat> Are the dragons frightening your people as much as they I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm on duty. I've spent many hours in council meetings lately grappling with that problem. These are troubling times. Take advantage of the fine food and drink. Such things have been scarce since the war began. How are you enjoying the party? The well enough, I suppose. Ellen Wen puts a great deal of effort into these parties, and it shows. I just wonder what her real motivations are. That woman is inscrutable. Can the Thalmor be trusted? For now, perhaps. But I've heard disturbing rumors that they're marshalling their strength. I suspect the treaty that ended the war was just a tactic to buy time so the Thalmor can rebuild their armies. I hope I'm wrong. I'm not sure the Empire can afford another war. Good speaking with you. Oh. I could learn a lot from the people in this room. Enjoying the party? Very much so, yes. Ellenwood's parties are always so elegant. She really has impeccable taste. Very much so. My and only regret is that she doesn't host them more often. Oh, you have need of me. You're Elisif. It's a pleasure to see you again. Why, thank you. You are most courteous. It's been a brutal winter. I admit I I'm surprised to see you here. Normally these parties are reserved for the Jarls and business leaders of Skyrim. Ellenwood must be very fond of you. Have you visited Rory? Yeah, Stay she's lately? very fond of you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. The crops that grow there never falter. Even when every it's a necessary part of my job to mix with the upper classes of Skyrim, such as they are. Is it good fortune? What brings you to the, the party? The there are those in the Empire who would wish to evade their obligations to help root out the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. There are those in the Empire. Fortunately, I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. These Stormcloaks are nothing more than an armed mob. This war won't last much longer. You speak truly. Have you heard any interesting rumors of late? Well, I did hear that Ulfric Stormcloak was slain while defending- The man who knows how to make money, war can be a most profitable venture. What brings you to the party? You must be new to Skyrim or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> and you sound like quite the businessman. But not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. You there! Serving These Thalmor know how to treat What's a guest. Name, dear? Oh, 
Have you known Elwyn long? I've known her long enough to appreciate her excellent taste in food and wine. And also long enough to respect her importance to Skyrim. She plays a vital role in rooting out the forbidden worship of Talos. As far as I'm concerned, those Talos worshippers get what they deserve. All they do is cause problems for me and the other Jarls. Some Jarls resent the Thalmor, how about you? Yes, I know what you mean. Most Nords struggle to accept change. Those who fought the Thalmor in the Great War still see an enemy. But that war is over, and a new day has dawned. Besides, the Thalmor reward their friends richly. Anyone who doesn't take advantage of that is a stubborn fool. Have you heard any news from the other parts Until later, then. Well, there might be nothing to it. So what about you, Preventus? I've heard that feud between the Grey Manes and the Battleborns and White The Empire is fortunate to have the support of the Thalmor during this difficult time, don't you think? The Battleborns have abducted one of her sons. Enjoying the party? Oh, hello there. I didn't expect to see you here. Yes, I am indeed. Ellen Wynn always serves the best wine at her parties. The food is excellent as well. Though I confess, being surrounded by so many wealthy and important people makes me feel more than a little nervous. Is the food and quite a gathering, wouldn't you say? I have no complaints. Oh yes, quite. So many important people from all across Skyrim. Don't let me keep you. The Grey Quarter in Windhelm is little more than a slum. It's shameful that the Dark Elves are made to live that way. Alrighty then. You speak truly. Have you heard any interesting rumors of late? Well, I did hear that Ulfric Stonecloak was slain while defending Windhelm against a dragon.